So, Devilman Crybaby, is it the best anime as of right now in 2018? I certainly think not, but I'll just explain what the good and the pros and the cons of this anime and let's just get right into it. So, first of all, Devilman Crybaby centers around a boy um, which is very kind-hearted, very um, well crybaby as you know in, in the title. I mean, he literally cries when someone else is sad, which is, uh, I mean, that's kind of uh, taking it way too far. Well, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if that is this in real life or, well, that's only real life. Anyway, though, um, it centers around a boy who is a crybaby and then one day met his old pal, Ryo, his childhood friend, and then he went on to, well, he went on to the disco club and then shit happens Akira actually became a demon now I'm not gonna spoil any further I'm just gonna spoil what's the beginning of the episode and in what actually happens in the first part of the episode so um yeah is this anime for you would, would you watch it now I highly recommend I highly recommend you do not watch this if you're under 15 or 14 like dude this anime will be the most fucked up anime you watch in a while i'm not kidding man and i've watched a lot of anime i've watched berserk i mean berserk is a manga i've read berserk i've read i've read vagabond vinland saga i mean kingdom wasn't fucked up but it was cool and shit and i've already read kamenga kill and Neverman just surpassed a whole nother expectation of go and fucked up anime like legit like this thing has expressive excessive nudity honestly like like I said if you're under 15 I don't recommend you watching it but overall for those who are over 15 and has that sense of maturity I again I I don't actually recommend but if you guys like really bored and you guys want some deep depression I suggest you watch this because this has a lot of depression like yo this shit is not a regular anime for the first part of this video I'm just gonna explain uh, no spoilers and then I'm gonna go to the second part of the video uh, which contains spoilers the devilman universe we have the demons and the humans now demons aren't known as much as the well they, they aren't known I mean they aren't known to be is this like we all know demons are myths I mean it's like real life world but apparently the demons in the demons in the devilman are physical like they actually exist and i'm not surprised it's an anime i mean that's kind of a normal genre what i didn't expect was the gore and the nudity which contained in the show it was mad yo yeah you'll see tits and pussies nah i don't think you'll see pussies but you'll see some fucked up shit and I really don't recommend you watching it if you're under 50. I don't know why I say that. But it will um think uh, it will make you think about life. It will make you think about what's truly the meaning of life. And I, I really like the rap. Um the rap was in the show. I mean the rap was only like for what four or five episodes, but it, you know it just explained that's, it just spits the truth about the world, how fucked up the reality is. But what this anime fails to do is um, character development and character backstory. I mean, that's just so shallow. It's the characters never meant. I mean, I expected for not to be that deep. I mean, we had that much backstory, but. I mean, we all wanted to see characters' backstory, like from the beginning to the end, especially uh, close to the main character, and we didn't get to see that much. But, but for what it is, it's a great show. Now I'm heading into the spoilers, so yeah, if you guys haven't watched it, go watch it right now and then come back to this video. Anyway, let's just 
get straight into the spoilers territory now what devil man fails to do so much was the ending now i know the ending was people say it was a good ending for me it wasn't it was it could have been so much more at the same time i think it would the ending was already good as it is but man i was so mad when all of them died like episode 9 is just stupid yo you could have saved at least one and then you decided to kill them all like how is that happy yo that's mad fucked up and uh, people are gonna comment it because how fucked up it is instead of it being actually a good enemy but in my opinion i think you should at least have one kind of hope kind of green light uh, at least in an anime i don't know what i'm saying but i'm saying shit okay and the ending was so it didn't had i mean it it could post a lot of meaning but it didn't justify that one true meaning of this show that one true conclu- conclusion at the end due to like everyone dies and earth doesn't exist I mean, it's kind of mad fucked up when i first saw it i was like is that it like what dude's dead and then just it's over yo like it's mad fucked up and we could have explored so much with the devil man powers we didn't even see um how the originals of Amon, how one becomes a demon like it's mad the de- the devils the the demons powers could have been explored so much especially with koda and mickey being devil mans at the middle part of the show but instead we got them killed off in episode 9 which was stupid and then the heroine dies as well like come on yo mickey died like that's bullshit i mean honestly miko died was so much impactful since she was a devil man and honestly it could have been a good fight at least to stand up against Ryo, which was such a dick oh my god Ryo, i hate him so much i don't know if he's even a good villain i mean i know that if you hate a villain that much i mean it's a good villain but i don't know if it's actually properly written as a character uh real i mean he literally just experiments and shit i mean there's no development to you at least until the end of the show i mean that's a major development for you but i don't see him as a good villain i mean i just hate him just pure for the fact that i just hate him like honestly but i think that just wraps up what i think about the show i mean akiva dying I, mean, I kinda expected it when I saw that fucking scene but honestly at least put up some some kind of hope for Kia you like ending that dude all oh, was sad I mean that dude was already cry baby and he just turned into devil man like I reckon if Akira was had a little bit of hatred in his heart I don't think he would be devil man. I think he would be just become a devil. I mean, that's pure ha- how pure hearted Akira was. But anyway, this goes without saying. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I think I'll do another anime impression. I'm probably done for the week. <laughs> but anyway, peace out. Have a nice goddamn day.